Okay, now we started off this series of principles talking about Irimi, how we enter the situation. And one of the uh, big factors here is how we enter when it's a big hook punch. Because the big hook punch is that most common of attacks. So, when the big hook punch comes in, and we're not talking about a boxer's tight hook, we're talking about that stupid kind of hook that people throw out in the street. Um, we know that the thing we want to do is to raise the arm so that it's in the way, but that the angles are quite important because what we mustn't do is just hold the arm vertical. This is the mistake that a lot of people make. When the arm is just vertical, that's going to crash through it and then I'm going to get hit not just by his arm, but by mine as well. So we know that it's going to be past vertical and the 45 degree angle thing comes in yet again. This constant principle that the angle we want is 45 degrees. Now, the relevancy to katabunkai is that this move isn't in your kata a lot of the time. This move is the thing that buys you the move in to do your favourite technique or whatever technique it is you're analysing. So without this, you're getting hit. What happens here is that as the punch comes in, we need to put this out at 45 degrees. Okay, so from my centre line, it goes out 45 degrees and up 45 degrees, and anatomically, you're strongest in this position, but most of us don't want to actually stand around in that position, so we turn the hand this way. And the other reason for that is that if we turn them to our strongest position, you have the veins and arteries in your ribs facing outwards. Now, as you have to assume that there's going to be a weapon there, not just a fist, because if there's not, you're all right, but if there is, you don't want to make the mistake of finding out too late. So we're going to turn the back of the wrist out, and that way if I do get a cut, it's going to be across the back of my arm, not the wrist. So when this thing comes in, we're going to receive it like this. I'm okay, by the way. Right, so this, you're not going to walk around the street like this. It's got to come from this position where you say, I don't want to fight, leave me alone. Ah! And then this comes in, and it, it's an instant fight fixer. Because his intention, whether he was going to throw one or three or however many he was going to throw, is suddenly on the pain he's got in his arm. So in a lot of ways, we're striking his arm. Now from there, you can then do whatever your favourite thing is. So we're coming gently this time. Because if my favourite thing was, say, down block, then from here, I'd work into here, take this, bring this, and take that down. Then that becomes a nice thing to do because I've got the time to do it. If I just stop his punch, then there's something else coming and then I'm getting caught. Cool. So I have to have my intention when he throws this. Then it happens very quick without any stopping to help them. And it's something that you can train. Bit by bit, we pick it up so that he wears gloves and he comes in and he tries multiple attacks and all the rest of it. But to start with, we need to get this thing right so that we can enter the situation. Um, and it's one of those things where you have to grow to trust it. So in training, we'll just use the other arm for a moment, we start out very, very light and we start out with this arm just being held up in position. And eventually you'll get to just putting it out, but you start out this way with it being launched and it starts out light and he adds to it. Until he can't take it anymore. Right? So when he really throws it in, he gets hurt. Uh, and we kind of say, well, those bruises that you get from this, this is the proof that you need that your hook punch is going to be. Um, stopped, and yeah, naturally you've got to get your turn, so arm goes up, uh, here comes mine, and it's coming in, I'll start light, and just build this, build it, build it, until your arm goes numb, and you don't really fancy doing them anymore. That's enough of a principle for this week.